Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is always a healing and regenerating system designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We want to help you change your life today if you're dealing with a health challenge. If you have a loved one who's dealing with a health challenge, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have questions about the longevity products or just a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side today and every day. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can order products right uh, by calling the phone team at 866-735-2470 or right off our website at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business if you're an entrepreneur or entrepreneurially minded, or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the phone team. And brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com are our websites. You can sign up right off the websites as well. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, multifunctional. If you're dealing with dark spots or aging skin or acne-prone skin, retinol is an amazing active ingredient, probably along with vitamin C. It is, not probably, along with vitamin C, it is the most important topical active ingredient you can use. It is stimulating. It does have a little bit of a learning curve to get to where you get the most benefit for, from the product. Everybody's skin's a little different. Some folks benefit by using it once a week, every 10 days, some folks, every two weeks, some folks. Some folks use it every two or three days. Retinol is Somewhat stimulating and somewhat aggressive, but it is really, really effective. You can find our Retinol 5% Gel, as well as our True Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends, your common sense nutritional program. Everything we talk about on this program, everything I always talk about in my presentations or on my blog posts when I'm writing, is always about common sense. There's healthcare, health shouldn't be complicated. The body may be complicated, but health shouldn't be complicated. It's really very simple. Put the good things in, keep the bad things out. I know that sounds too simple maybe, but that's really what it's about. Put the good things in, keep the bad things out. On our last conversation, we were talking about the amla berry. The amla berry, also known as the Indian gooseberry. It's a highly nutritious fruit, somewhat bitter. It's considered to be one of, if not the most medicinal of all the Indian medicine, Ayurvedic medicine plants. Ayurvedic medicine is really interesting. The medical arts in India have been around for a long, long time. Some of their ideas, uh, the Ayurvedic ideas, predate Western medicine by thousands of years. Now, the practitioners of Ayurveda, and Ayurveda, by the way, means life wisdom, the early practitioners of health, believed that it was a matter of life wisdom. It wasn't just health. It was life, how we live our lives that keeps us healthy. So Ayurveda means life wisdom. And the early practitioners weren't the first people to use medicine, but they were certainly one of the first cultures to codify medicine, to put it down in writing. 
And they were the first to use a rational and logical basis for medicine. As late as the 17th century, physicians were regarded uh, as healers. And they used to, they quote, poured medicine of which they know little into bodies of which they know less. This is a, from the French playwright Moliere. Physicians were not necessarily held in high honor. The practice of medicine wasn't really honored. It, even Alexander the Great said, I die from the hands of too many physicians. And that was B.C. 200 or 300 B.C. But Ayurveda, on the other hand, has always leveraged understanding of life when it came to medicine, understanding of the human condition and the human environment when it came to healing, how human beings have different psychologies. They emphasize various psychological predispositions. They emphasize intrinsic causes, causes of disease that were inside the body versus extrinsic causes, causes of disease that were outside the body. They were among the first to develop advanced surgical procedures. They used to uh, practice removal of kidney stones, removal of cataracts. They were among the early practitioners of stitching and suturing. They were doing facial reconstruction procedures and nose jobs. This is all 600, 700 BC. And the Ayurvedic practitioners were the first medical practitioners to classify diseases and to describe their nature and the therapeutic value of various herbs, which they were considered to be medicines, which they considered to be the drugs of the time. And interestingly, many of the herbal pre preparations and uh, the medicinal plants that they use are still relevant today. If you go to any health food store, you're going to find Ayurvedic supplements, the same Ayurvedic recommendations or Ayurvedic herbs that were recommended 600, 700, 500 BC. You can still get them today at health food stores. Ashwagandha, turmeric, cardamom, cumin, neem oil, or neem, the herb neem, licorice, hemp. Yes, the Ayurvedic practitioners were the first to practice the art of using hemp as a medical treatment. Cannabis, that is. And, of course, they use the alma plant or the Indian gooseberry. It's highly nutritious, amazing source of vitamin C, one of the highest sources of vitamin C in the herbal kingdom. It's a good source of minerals. It's a good source of amino acids. It's a good source of good fats or essential fatty acids, as they're called. All parts of the amla plant are used for medicinal purposes. The stem is used, the leaves are used, the root is used, but it's the berry or the fruit part where most of the good stuff is, and that, of course, includes the phytonutrients that we've been talking about now for the last couple of months, the phenols. The phenols and vitamin C and the minerals and all the components in the amla plant, or many of the components in the amla plant, have pharmaceutical drug-like properties. The amla plant is antimicrobial, it's antioxidant, it's anti-inflammatory, it's analgesic, it kills pain. It reduces fever. It's antipyretic. That means it lowers heat or lowers fever. It's adaptogenic. It's good for the liver, anti-tumor. So many benefits to, to this amazing, amazing medicinal Ayurvedic plant. There's lots of ways. If you want to leverage the power of the amla plant, there's lots of ways that you can use it. You can sometimes find the gooseberry itself, the Indian gooseberry itself, in Asian markets or in Indian markets. Amla juice is available on the Internet. Although I, omelet juice does have, typically will have some glucose in it or some sugar in it because gooseberry is very, very tart stuff. You can also use omelet powder. You can take omelet powder by the teaspoonful or if you're up for it, you can pour it into some capsules and use it as an herbal supplement. Omelet powder is available on the internet. And omelet powder can be kind of energizing too. A lot of athletes use omelet powder before they work out or before some kind of athletic performance. In Indian cuisine, they use amla to add flavor to chutney, which is a kind of sauce that's made with beans, sometimes made with legumes or, or peanuts or tomato paste. You can make your own amla chutney, if you like, by blending some amla and cilantro, maybe a little bit of dill and some green or red peppers, chili peppers, in with some uh, tomatoes and a food processor, add a little ginger, maybe some turmeric or clove or cinnamon, go crazy, go wild. Get the omelet, you get the vitamin C, you get the cinnamon and the clove, you get all these polyphenols. Omelet also can help stimulate digestive juices. So if you add your chutney to meats, it'll help you digest your meat a little bit better. You can start your meals off with a teaspoonful of omelet powder and you'll improve digestion and nutrient absorption pretty much from anything you're eating. And then of course you get the fiber from the peppers and the tomatoes, which will support the health of the intestine, help lower blood sugar, and also support the important microbiome. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You are listening to The Bright Side. We'll take a quick commercial break and come back with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. The 
right side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. If you want to sign up and join the bright side Ben team, if you're an entrepreneur and you want to make a little bit of money, or if you just want to get your longevity products at the wholesale price, please call our phone team at 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can become a distributor and get your products at the wholesale price or start yourself a longevity business and make some money on the side. Or you can do it as a full-time job. A lot of folks are making some significant money helping spread the word about the power of nutrition with you and using the, the, uh, the longevity products beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Ultimate EFAs, Ultimate Enzymes. There's so many wonderful products. Fucoid Z. I don't talk anywhere near enough about the Fucoid Z. It's one of my all-time favorite longevity products made with Fucoid. And Fucoid Z, for you guys who are out there listening, uh, also the uh, Z Radical, which is the liquid form of the Fucoid Z, is a blood tonic. helps clean the blood, thin the blood. It's a great blood thinner. Also important for supporting immune health. You can find out about all the longevity products by checking out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and you can sign up right off the websites as well. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we'll get your calls here, as I say, in our next segment. The Amla plant, one of the all-time great Ayurvedic plants loaded with vitamin C. It's energizing. It is uh, rejuvenating. It's healing. And it's a good source of something called gallic acid. Gallic acid is super, super important. One of the one of the most powerful of all of the phytonutrient, phenolic phytonutrients that we've been talking about. According to a 2009 study published in the journal Pharmaceutical Research, gallic acid was shown to induce the programmed death of prostate cancer cells. Another study, this one from March 2006, Journal of Toxico- Toxicological Sciences, showed that gallic acid has significant anti-inflammatory properties and prevents the expression of inflammatory chemicals. Researchers in the study stated that gallic acid can be used to treat inflammatory allergic diseases. Another study, this one in May 2010, the Journal of Pharmacy and Pharmacology, showed that gallic acid possesses significant antioxidant activity and may protect the liver from harmful effects of free radicals that are formed as a result of various chemical processes. Diabetes is also a a disease that may benefit from gallic acid, according to a January 2010 uh, article in Phytotherapy Research. Gallic acid was shown to benefit diabetic patients by triggering the release of insulin from the pancreatic cells. It's got antifungal activity. It's just amazing stuff. One of my favorite derivatives of gallic acid is probably the most potent of all the polyphenol types, something called EGCG, which stands for epigallocatechin gallate. I just call it EGCG. And that is the active ingredient in green tea. And man, do I love green tea. It's the EGCG, the epigallocatechin gallate, the EGCG that contributes in large part to the absolutely mind-blowing benefits of green tea. Green tea is protective against estrogenic issues, estrogenic health issues. It's protective against cancer, anti-inflammatory. All the benefits from gallic acid are, are, are going to be obtained by drinking green tea. Green tea is one of the most powerful and popular health substances you could ever ingest. I think it might be the most popular beverage after water uh, in the world, largely because of the billions of Chinese that drink green tea. Green tea is one of the few nutritional substances, nutritionally ingested substances, that is foods, that people typically don't have to be convinced into using. It is delicious. And it'll give you a little jolt, too, because it's got some caffeine in there. Uh, green tea has probably less caffeine in it than, uh, than regular tea. It has less caffeine in it than ca- coffee does, but you still get a, a good jolt of caffeine. There's about 30 milligrams or so of caffeine in a cup of green tea. Coffee kicks in around 80 milligrams or so. And regular tea has about 50 milligrams of green tea. So you're not going to get as much, green, uh, as much caffeine out of green tea as you'll get from uh, other caffeinated beverages. Certainly you'll get a lot less than you get from, uh, from uh, Coke, Coke and, and soda pop. But you still get a little caffeine buzz. And there's all kinds of other health reasons why you want to drink green tea. Not just inside the body, by the way. You can use green tea topically as well. I used to put green tea in in a a anti-sun mist. If you mix green tea with a little bit of beta-glucan and put it in a spray bottle, maybe a refrigerator or maybe keep it in a cooler, it makes a a great sun protection spray if you're laying out. 
Or if you're playing tennis or golf, you can spritz yourself with this green tea beta-glucan mixture and get some sun protection. It's not like a sunscreen, but it'll help deactivate some of the ultraviolet radiation, some of the toxicity associated with the ultraviolet radiation that you get from the sun. The most important benefits of green tea are the result of the polyphenols, the, the, these um, plant nutrients that we've been talking about on the bright side for the last couple of months or so. The polyphenols are the major class of phytonutrients, plant nutrients in nature's wonderful botanical bounty. And green tea, really all tea, is packed with polyphenols. The main difference between green tea and regular tea is in the processing of it, the oxidation of it. And this changes the nutritional value of the tea. Oxidation and processing will always reduce nutritional value. And this is why green tea is so much better for you than black tea. Black tea is a more processed version of tea. Actually, black tea is a more processed version of green tea. There's four main types of tea. You've got black tea, you've got green tea, you've got oolong tea, and you've got white tea. And the only thing that differentiates these four main tea types is the amount of processing that they endure and the oxidizing chemistry that occurs with the teas. Oxidation is the technical term for the reaction that occurs between some kind of molecule and oxygen. Oxidation is an oxygen reaction. And you can always tell if something is being oxidized or has been oxidized by a color change, especially darkening. If you're using a skincare product, for example, and it's starting to turn brown, it is oxidizing. Apples will turn brown. Uh, if they're left out, or bananas will sometimes turn brown if they're left out. That uh, Avocados will turn brown if they're left out. If they're left out, if something's turning brown or darkening, that's the reaction that oxygen has with some component in that substance. Usually uh, uh, something like an essential fat or a fat in general will oxidize. The technical term for oxidation of fats is rancidity. When something goes rancid, we say an oil is rancid. It is oxidized, and you can observe this sometimes by darkening. And oxidation can also change the, the flavor profile of foods for better or worse. In the case of meat, for example, a certain amount of oxidation via fire, via heat, can impart a more hearty flavor to meat. Too much oxidation of meat will make the meat taste unpleasant. Just a little bit of oxidation will give it a, a meat-like taste. Steak tartare has a, doesn't, have the same, uh, doesn't have the same flavor as a cooked steak because the uh, proteins... And some of the other molecules have not oxidized. Too much oxidation can cause accelerated aging and cancer. This is why you want to, don't want to use, uh, don't want to burn your meat or don't want to eat your meat well done. Oxidation is contagious. When you ingest oxidized substances, it will accelerate your oxidation, your aging. And cancer is a type of oxidation or is the result of certain types of oxidation. So you can actually induce cancers by ingesting too much oxidized meat or for that matter using oxidized cosmetics or using oxidized topical products. If you've got a, if you've got a skincare product and starting to turn brown, I wouldn't be using it. There are actually some skincare products that turn brown right in the bottle before you buy them. They're already starting to turn brown, particularly vitamin C products. This is one of the reasons why I never work with ascorbic acid as a source of vitamin C in my topical products because ascorbic acid oxidizes very readily. In fact, nobody should ever use ascorbic acid topically unless it's fresh, unless you're making your own ascorbic acid topical. If you're trying to use a vitamin C product and you look on the ingredient deck and it says ascorbic acid, not a good idea. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll come back with more good health information and your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. All right, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us on the Bright Side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 at Central Time and 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com where you can purchase Longevity products and sign up to join the Brightside Ben team as well. You can also purchase Longevity products at criticalhealthnews.com. We have a blog post at criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com and also uh, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com as well. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up and also want to remind you about our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Check out our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're dealing with a burn, 
or any kind of rashes or any kind of rash, or if you just want a, a multifunctional, multi-purpose moisturizer, you want to know about our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream with, made with omega-6 fats as well as a big old healthy dose of fat-soluble vitamin C. I was saying before we went to break out, you want to look for fat-soluble vitamin C largely because water-soluble water -soluble form of vitamin C, which goes by the name ascorbic acid, oxidizes readily. Now, ascorbic acid doesn't penetrate past the surface of the skin very well either. So all in all, ascorbic acid is pretty much a waste of money if you're spending a lot of money. And, and it can be a significant waste of money. A lot of ascorbic acid containing products go for $100 an ounce. This is, obs this is obscene, in my opinion, for an active ingredient that doesn't do much for your skin and oxidizes sometimes right in the bottle. And by the way, if you put an oxidized product on your skin, your skin, the oxidation of your skin will accelerate. If it's brown, flush it down. Don't put brown stuff on your skin or don't put brown uh, uh, skincare, uh, sk don't put skincare products that have turned brown on your skin. You will accelerate your skin aging, thus the importance of stabilized, fat-soluble vitamin C, which is the only kind of vitamin C you'll find in our Truth Treatment products. Stabilized, fat-soluble vitamin C is not only stable, but it's also penetrate, it also penetrates and it's also moisturizing. And you can find our fat-soluble vitamin C products, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Retinol 5% Gel at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, we'll get your phone calls here in just a sec, so hang on. I've got a bunch of calls to get to, and we will get you all. So hang tight. I just want to read a couple of interesting studies uh, that I got this morning. This one from the University of California, San Diego. Arthritis drug shows promise for ulcerative colitis. A new study finds that people with moderate to severe ulcerative colitis who haven't done well with other treatments may... Find relief with Zeljans, a drug currently used to treat arthritis. Now, I'm not a promoter of any drugs, unless you absolutely need them. However, the point here that arthritis medicine can help with ulcerative colitis is very, very interesting. I've always said if a, a nutritional supplement is going to help you with your joints, it's going to help you with your digestive system. Why? Well, the intestine is made up largely of the same kind of tissue that makes up your joints. Arthritis being inflammation of the joints, using glucosamine vitamin C, your glucogel caps from longevity, Fucoid Z from longevity, apple cider vinegar with your meals. All of these are great strategies for folks dealing with inflammation of the joints that will also help regenerate connective tissue in the intestine if you're dealing with ulcerative colitis or leaky gut syndrome or irritable bowel syndrome. Using vitamin C is very important. In fact, using vitamin C is the most important nutrient. Vitamin C is the most important nutrient for helping build connective tissue. Essential fats are very important for connective tissue. Zinc is very important for connective tissue. So building connective tissue and supporting the health of connective tissue for, uh, for dealing with arthritis can also support the connective tissue in the intestine. And oh, by the way, it'll support the connective tissue in the blood vessels, the connective tissue in the heart. Remember, 25% of the body is made up of connective tissue. So when you support connective tissue with nutritional supplementation, glucogel, hyaluronic acid, silica, zinc, vitamin C, Fucoidin, the uh, Fucoid Z, and, and the, uh, and the uh, uh, what is the other one called, the Z-radical. Uh, when you're supporting connective tissue with all of these supplements, you'll also be supporting, the con supporting connective tissue everywhere in the body. That's why I love nutrition. It's so multifunctional. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to the phones and welcome Nancy to the bright side. Thanks for holding, Nancy. You've been on for holding on there looks for half an hour or so. What's going on, Nancy? Hi. Um, I bought your Omega-6 healing cream. Okay. And so, so far I love it. Okay. Uh, I haven't had it a long time. But I have a granddaughter who's a year and a half, year, uh, year and, a half and she has labial fusion. Okay. The labia is fused together. Yep. And I'm wondering if that omega-6 healing cream. No, no. Be, no. I, I, okay. Well, it, you know, it's soothing for irritation if it's irritated, but it's not going to help with the, the fusing. That's a hormonal issue typically, uh, okay. labial fusing. Now, it, now, is that the only thing that's going on? Anything else going on with the baby? Um, that's she, what you want to look for. Okay. Yeah, a few things. Yeah, you know. that's really where you want to look for. The hormone estrogen is typically involved with labial fusion, uh, and that's for the listeners. That's when the uh, the entrance to the va the vaginal entrance becomes uh, sealed, and it can be it, it can be problematic. Um, and it's not uncommon, by the way. It's more common than you think. Typically, it involves the hormone estrogen, which is uh, involves digestion. All roads lead back to the digestive system, and I would be thinking, I would be looking at mom. Is she breastfeeding? Is mom breastfeeding? 
she used. Yeah, I'd be looking at mom first. That's the that's where I'd be focusing on. Does mom have a history of digestive health issues? Probably. <laughs> that's where you want to be looking at, my dear. Uh, estrogen is processed through the digestive system, um, largely by the activity of probi of good bacteria, the microbiome. Focus on the mom's gut. If she mom's got any digestive food condition, uh, digestive allergies, or any into food intolerances, or anything like that, those are have to be monitored. And foods that cause any kind of distress in mom have to be eliminated because baby is getting all of those distress chemicals. When when we don't process food correctly at the intestinal level or anywhere really, when we don't process food correctly, toxins enter into the blood. Uh, breast milk is going to contain some of those toxins, and then baby will be like mom. And that's not a good thing, especially when baby is developing, when the, all, when the genitals are developing, when all the tissues in the baby are developing, that's going to impact how development occurs. So mom has to be very careful. Mom also should be using uh, the nightly essence probiotics. Mom should be using apple cider vinegar with her meals in addition to eliminating any problematic foods. Uh, and then also fermented foods, sauerkraut can be very helpful. I've been experimenting, by the way, with using sauerkraut in combination with nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is one of the all-time great nutritional supplements. Mixing a little nutritional yeast with, uh, with the uh, sauerkraut can really bump up the nutritional value of the sauerkraut and the sauerkraut with live cultures, real, uh, real sauerkraut. Or any, uh, you can, it doesn't have to be sauerkraut. It could be kimchi or any fermented vegetables will help. And then also using a, a good probiotic supplement like the nightly essence. Focus on mom's handling of estrogen. Focus on mom's digestive system, particularly the intestine and the microbiome. That's what I'd be doing. Okay. Well, okay. her mom did have that same condition as an infant. Okay. And <clears throat> I didn't know a lot about nutritional healing, so I let them use the hormone estrogen yeah. on her when she was just a couple of weeks old. Yeah. You didn't know. And so, you know, Nobody I think knew. it did have some issues with her with her hormone system when she grew. Please do not let the grand, your grandbaby get on hormones. This is uh, hormones are playing with fire for anybody, but especially for a developing infant. They know nothing about hormones. Di it, it is it is so obnoxious and arrogant, even if well-meaning. And, and I, I don't want to beat up on doctors too much because most of them are well-meaning. But it's so obnoxious and arrogant to think you can play around with the hormone system exogenously from the outside, a especially before you check check out nutritional strategies. Please, please, hormones is a last resort. It's, you know, it's horrible for anybody, but especially for a baby who is so dependent on hormone balance and hormone health to interfere with hormone chemistry f uh, with prescription drugs. All right, Nancy, I got to go. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. I hope we helped you out. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll get to your calls here. Uh, we'll get to all your calls here when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. Don't go away. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Gabriel in New York City. Good morning. What's up, buddy? Hello there. Can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. What's going on, man? All right. Perfect. Well, I've been listening to your show for about two years, and it really helped me get over a lot of health awesome. problems. Awesome. And, um, and I appreciate that. And I still sure. got a couple minor ones. I'm probably going to talk to you about that later because it's not really okay. that big of a deal. Okay. But I got a client... I'm a trainer. I'm a personal trainer. Okay. And I got a client, and uh, I'm just read you this message that he sent me. Okay. So he's got severe anxiety attacks, insomnia. Doctors prescribed the meds. Diagnosed with psychosomatic disorders. Found out he's got a tumor in his spine, hemorrhage in the left. Wait, 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 wait. Hang brain. on, hang on, Gabriel. Hang on. They said it was psychosomatic disorder, but he's got a tumor. Now he's got, yeah, it's a whole bunch of stuff. He's got a tumor. All right. He's got, um, on the left side of his brain, he's going to see a neurosurgeon to find a second option. He's oh, got geez. a lot of fatigue, numbness in the hands and feet. How old is he? Oh, no, don't. Well, don't 31 you know. years old. Okay, so that's not, well, good news is, is he's 31. That means he's young enough to turn this thing around. Yeah, and, exactly. and the worse you are, the worse you are, the faster you turn things around. Now, it may take a while to okay. completely turn things around, but you can turn things around really quickly. You can start uh -huh. to turn things around quickly. Sounds like he's secreting a lot of stress hormones, cortisol. Now okay. they said, yeah, I think so too. He's been sleep depriving himself for about ten years as a personal trainer, probably like three, four hours of sleep a night. He's a personal um, trainer. Yeah, he's a personal trainer as well. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, yeah, well then he a couple, of, a couple of bulging discs, some pinched nerves, and I mean, I mean, oh my oh, goodness! A uh, small renal cyst in a kidney, liver. Oh and testicles, no! No more! No more! Side. You're breaking my heart, Gabriel. Uh, stop! Marrow, no! <laughs> stop! Or, stop! Uh, Gabriel, uh, no, listen, yeah, Gabriel, great. Gabriel, 
Tree. Gabriel, hang on. I don't need to hear all the grim details. He's falling apart. Okay, cool. Remember, there's he's only one disease. He's got his body's falling apart disease. Exactly. He's got exactly. I was about to tell you MBFA disease. <laughs> we don't need the, the yep. all the all the symptoms. His body's falling apart. So you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. Now, for long term, he's going to have to work on his digestive system. But immediately, he's got to activate the relaxation response immediately. And that means okay. the fastest way to do it is slow, deep breathing, hot baths, hot water, massage, anything you can do to calm his body down. His body is, it's like in World War II. You ever watch those World War II videos or, or TV shows where they got like the bombs going off and the rockets yeah, firing and the mortars? Are... His body needs to calm down. Yes, his body needs to calm down. He's so you can do it. The hell up. It's being jacked up, exactly. Now, uh, uh, oxygenation is very important. Muscle relaxation is very important. That's where massage and hot water come in. But also there's things that we put inside our body that jack it up, specifically sugar. So making sure okay. he's going ketogenic. Have him do the ketogenic Keto diet immediately. Genic. Ketogenic. That means low calorie. That's a very important part of the ketogenic diet that a lot of people miss. Low calorie in combination with low sugar and moderate like protein. Broth. And high fat. Yes, bone broth. In fact, if he can just subsist on one kind of food that he knows is good for a couple of weeks, that'll make a big difference. You want to okay. stick to one type of food that's good. If it's Bone broth is great because it's a good source of protein. All right? Sometimes people who work out who are personal trainers miss the fact that working out is a stress on the body. Hey, yeah. Gabriel, you're, are you outside, man? We got some kind of wind or something. Oh, there. sorry. Yeah, I'm actually uh, sitting out here in the in the park trying to get some. All right, no worries. I, I'm going to go fast here because I got a bunch of calls I want to get to. So go for it. So real quickly, uh, calm the body down extrinsically with uh, massage, hot water, also oxygenation. Keep his sugar intake down using uh, the ketogenic diet, high fat, moderate carbohydrate, low carb and low calorie. Calorie restriction will help him. Intermittent fasting will also help him. Okay. If he can generate ketone bodies, uh, go into ketone. ketosis, that will, that will help him as well. Uh, and then using nutritional supplements supplements, especially the B vitamins, which have a calming B effect. All, yes, all the B vitamins, uh, essential fats. Get them on the Healthy Start Pack, if you can, at least the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. No, do the Healthy Start Pack. Use the Beyond Tangy okay. Tangerine daily. Have him do nine Ultimate EFA caps a day, and then make sure he's doing at least one, but maybe two cap fulls, cap fulls of the Beyond Osteo FX. I would throw in the Fucoy Z. Uh, also, a magnesium has a calming effect, so you might want a little, ex a little extra magnesium. Have him use a little melatonin before he goes to bed. A little lithium orotate, maybe five milligrams of lith lithium orotate a day. A hundred milligrams of GABA, hundred to five. 500 milligrams of GABA, too much may make him too drowsy. Uh, he may okay. want to try some uh, pregnenolone. P -R -E pregnenolone, that has, that's some great results with that one. That's a great one. P-R-E-G-N-E-N-O-L-O-N-E, -E -E, 100 milligrams of pregnenolone a day. And if he has any digestive... If, let me just say this one last thing. If he has any digestive health issues, those need to be addressed because those can lead to anxiety issues and also uh -huh. uh, using probiotics, the nightly essence. Go ahead. What were you going to say? Okay, nightly. I was going to say, what about selenium? Selenium's great, but it's not, I mean, yeah, selenium's great. Anything that helps him control is sugar, selenium, uh, also the sweeties, sulfur, arginine, the amino acid arginine can be helpful, especially if he's working out. That has a calming effect. There's so many things okay. to do, but most importantly is immediately relax the body, then work on the sugar, and then uh, focus on digestive health as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go here, Gabriel. I hope I helped you out, man. Thanks a lot. Call me later or send an email or whatever if you need more help. Thank you, Gabriel. All right, let's go to Elaine in Alaska. Good morning, Elaine. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, it's good to talk to you, Ben. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What's going on? Good. You know, I've got a couple questions. One of my clients, she's uh, been diagnosed with the gastroparesis. I talked to you about her before. Okay. Some diet changes. She's getting more energy, feeling better. But when Still she the tried... fullness? Pardon me? Still has that sense of fullness? Um. Well, the problem that she's dealing with is any time she's trying to get the the BTT, mm -hmm. she dilutes it, and when she she thinks it might be the citrus, it just really brings on a lot of her symptoms, that like kind of the painful. No, there's no citrus in the there's citrus flavor in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, a little citrus extract maybe, but it's not enough to make a, a difference. That's kind of I, I hear that a lot. She's not the only one who says that, but that's unlikely to cause much of a problem. Uh, what what exactly happens when she does this, the BTT? Uh, she tries, she swallows, and she made it diluted, and then she said she got this just immediate, 
I don't know if it was too cold, but she got like an immediate kind of pain between the shoulder blades and kind of up her throat. And I guess uh, that's symptom, I don't know how that. Yeah, I don't know how that would happen with the BTT. Uh, try to ha, ha, just to, I mean anything's possible, of course. It seems unlikely though. So here's a couple of things she can if she really wants to use the BTT. Here's a couple of experiments that you can do because a lot of this is just experimentation and trial and error. Have her do a very, 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 very small amount. And then have her do a larger amount and see if there's a difference in how she feels. In other words, if the dose makes a difference. If she does, if she has a tiny amount and gets a, a small effect or doesn't have any effect and then does a bigger dose and then gets an effect, then we'll know it's the BTT. Okay. You follow me? So you want to play with the dose and that way you can assess what it is. Because I don't think that's what it is. It sounds like it could be something else. Also have her do the BTT first thing in the morning and see if she notices that. In other words, have nothing in her stomach and, and have her stomach relatively empty when she does the BTT. So you clear out any confounding variables. You do kind of a controlled experiment. Have her do it what first, thing in, the, first thing in the morning. Go ahead. That's the capsules. I think the capsules, she can try the capsules, see if that makes a difference. The capsules just aren't as, they're not as potent as the liquid. But yeah, give, see if she can do the capsules. And that'll okay. tell her, that, that'll be a sign also. If she can't do the capsules, if she has the same result from the capsules as she did, does from the liquid, then, then I would say, yeah, then it's probably the BTT, although I find it unlikely. And then, you know, I'm a little concerned with telling people to go on a fast if they have... Say if they have diabetes or if they have medications they're supposed to take with. Well, medication will medication will throw off a fast for sure, uh, okay. but don't be concerned with diabetes. I mean, if you go into ketosis, that's one of the best things you can do for diabetes, keeping your sugar down and burn fat. That's, fasting is amazing for diabetics. I mean, okay. when, you, when I talk about fast, I'm talking about intermittent. I'm not talking about fasting for a month. I'm right. talking about taking a day off from food. We could, what is this idea that we got to eat every 24 hours? Think about it, Elaine. Where did we come up with this 24-hour golden number where we have to eat every 24 hours? Right? Who said that? Where did that come from? That's just made up. That's arbitrary. So you eat every 36 hours, eat every 48 hours. The body doesn't know the difference. You know, there's certain rhythms that the body has, and 24 hours tends to be a circadian rhythm based on the sun, but... But it's not, you don't, it's not going to kill you to eat every 36 or every 48 hours. In fact, it'll be healthy for you. The less you eat, listen, I can't, this is the most powerful anti-aging longevity health strategy. The less calories you eat, the longer you live. This is indisputable. The evidence is voluminous. Study after study after study shows calorie restriction leads to longevity and disease prevention. Now, when you're on medication, you definitely throw things off. So that's a little bit different if you're on prescription drugs. Like, you know, you're going to have to make your own decision on that. But fasting is, in my opinion, fasting is a, and calorie restriction are powerful, powerful health, healing, and longevity strategies. All right, Elaine, that's the music. I got to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can squeeze in Rose real quickly. Rose. Hey, Rosie, I was going to give you a call. Rose? Yes. Oh, this is a different Rose. Rose, I thought you were somebody else. Hi, Rose. <laughs> uh, I thought you were. I thought you were another Rose. Uh, real quick, what do you got for us? Um, I just want to know. I, you know, I was diagnosed with thrombocytopenia, and I'm not a smoker. And I, I had called you before about it. Rose, um, I just got ten seconds. I can't really address that. Can you call me tomorrow? If you it, call tomorrow, yeah, I'll get your I'll first just, up. I'll call tomorrow. Okay. I apologize. That's all the time we have for today, folks. Thank you so much for listening. Have a beautiful, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.